In my last video, I textured the sci-fi door for my entry to Blender Challenge 11 survival game. And uh, now I'm going to do this uh, thing that I'm calling, I'm going to call it a monitor. All right, so I've got it here. I'm going to export it as an FBX. All right, I'm going to call this monitor. Just the selected objects and export. In Substance Painter, create a new file. I'm going to go for 2048, 2K, select it, and press OK. And here it is. Okay, before I can add my textures, I'm going to bake the mesh map. So I'm going to do this at 2048. So here it is. All right, it's going to be very straightforward. I'm going to delete this layer and create a fill layer here. This is going to be the, I'll call it paint rough, just like the last time. In the properties, I'm going to alt click on color and then click on roughness. So on color and roughness, I can leave the color the same, but I'm going to bring the roughness up quite a bit. Okay. Control D to duplicate that. And this is going to be paint glossy. And the properties, I'm going to bring the color up a little bit so we can see a slight difference. All right. I'm also going to bring the roughness down so it's shinier. Okay. I'm going to add a black mask and right click and add a fill and the properties of that fill i'm going to click on the grayscale and i've already searched for grunge and find a grunge that might work i'm going to use this grunge fine rust i think so it's in there you may not be able to see it very well Just want a little bit of that in there. Okay. I think I'll group these together. It's not that important, but so that's the main paint. Okay, I want to do this screen here in black and probably a few other things in black as well. So I'm gonna create another fill layer. And under smart materials, I believe. I'm gonna search for that. No, it's just under materials. There's plastic PVC. Okay. I'm going to click on base color and bring it down to a sort of a bluish black color. I want that only on the screen, so I'm going to add a black mask. And then I'm gonna click here, here on Polygon Fill, come over to the Properties, and I'm gonna leave it on Polygon. I'm gonna select this one, this one, this one. And I now have that just there. But I think I'm going to also do these dials the same way, some of these buttons. So I'm gonna come back over to here, Polygon Fill, and I'm gonna choose Mesh, this one. Click on this, and I'll get the whole thing. This one, this one, and not that one. There we go, like that. I also want that black shadow, or blackness, inside here. So I'm going to switch back to Polygon, and just click right in the middle. Okay, so I want that. And, yeah. So I'll go for that. It's a little bit too blue. It's a little bit darker. Okay, now. Okay, so we got that. I'm gonna do something with these buttons. 
So let's save this first. And I think I'm going to want to have these. Let's just jump up here for a second. Notice I've got this as a material, so when I can bring it back in a blender, uh, it, it won't be some default material, it'll be monitor. Okay, I want these to emit some light. And if I look at my channels, I've got base color, height, roughness, metallic, normal. I'm going to click this plus and add emissive, because I don't have an emissive channel. So there it is. All right, so I'm going to create a new fill layer. Under the properties, I now see emission or emissive. I'm going to alt and click that, so that's all I've got. And I'm going to change this to, I don't know, maybe a yellow or something. Now it's gone everywhere, so I'm going to add a black mask. I want that only on these, so I'm going to go over to my polygon fill again. And here, try mesh. I'm thinking I would do them all. Hopefully this doesn't look too weird. In Blender, I can adjust how intense that is. I'm, I'm going to leave that for Blender. Okay, cool. So, um, I'm not sure. First of all, is there anything there? I think I may have created something I didn't need. Um, I'm not sure about this grunge here. I think maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. This is emissive. Let's add something on this plate. I'm going to switch to orthographic and hold down Shift and Alt, Alt, and then hit Shift and sort of center it up. I'm not sure I like that crunch. Okay, so let's do a fill layer and a black mask. And on the main layer, let's do just height. And let's carve it in. So pull that down. And then under alpha, I'm going to choose square. And take this shape right here. Back to here. Actually, let's do a paint layer. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's take this shape into the alpha. And I'm going to rotate this. Actually, we're going to squeeze it. Just nice and thin. All right. Make it a bit harder. Let's rotate this. So let's straight up and down. We'll increase the size. Let's try that. Okay, we're going to make it a little harder. Maybe a little fatter. Before I go any further, I'm going to snap it. I'm going to choose symmetry in the Z. Click off that. And now I can get them on both sides. So I can get a little indentation there. All right, that's okay with me. So this is, uh, I don't know, indent. I'm going to create another fill layer and a black mask. And on this one, I want. Let's say just height again. This time I'm going to go out. Okay. I'm 
and for the alpha I want to use it's like a bolt I'm just gonna use that now let me make sure that my brush is just that okay alpha a bit maybe not we'll just do the size yeah something like that but a little bit bigger yeah that's what I'm going for turn off symmetry I'll call that bolt bolts whatever Press the tab key, and this is what I've got. Okay, all that's left now is to export these textures to Blender and get it going. So let's choose Export Textures and choose the folder that you want it in. I'm going to put it right here. Here's my monitor with the material. I'm going to select the principal BSTF and go Shift Control T, Textures, Monitor. Choose them all. We'll deal with this emission in a bit. So here is my monitor texture. Okay, but you'll notice that there is no emission on here and the emission texture your image uh, didn't go on so let's uh, deal with that so here we'll do it this way I'm just gonna move this all the way out here shift a shader add shader we're gonna add that emission emission plug that into here and then the image texture open this choose the emissive and connect them and now you can see them and then we can adjust the, the strength of that you can do a various other things as well I probably will change that color all right so you can see it now in place and there's another one over here all right it's a collection instance so I've got two of them there and I've done a little bit of work on some other uh, things here, the, the cushions and stuff. I did this one. We'll come back. We'll probably do this one next and we'll do the ceiling. All right, so I've got my, my monitor in there. And that's my, my scene so far.